it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel so in this video tutorial we will learn about the conveyor belt simulation within the multisim as we know that in a lot of electrical and electronic sensor sensor based projects we have some sort of projects like in which we need to fill some like uh, bottles with liquids or some solid even some powder or some solid to be filled inside some sort of bottles so for it in multi sim we have one component so where it is uh, you can see that there is an option called as place advanced peripheral so you need to click it now yes on the top we can see our conveyor belt okay so this is our conveyor belt okay now what we need to do is to click on zoom in so that we can betterly visualize it okay now now you can see that we have some pins associated with the conveyor belt the first one is forward reverse stops stop speed drop and count and uh, sensor one sensor two and sensor three pins so what is forward pin or what's the functioning of it when we will give some sort of positive logic or 5 volt okay uh, or if we can even give some sort of voltages like uh, in between 0 to 1 then this block or cube will move in the forward direction and if you want to reverse it out we can give pulse on the reverse then if we want to stop then we can give pulse on stop and if you want to increase or decrease the speed we can give some sort of analog voltage on this pin drop is used for to drop the material from this from this section that is lying on the top to the this box okay this is the drop so what about sensor 1 sensor 2 and sensor 3 you can see these red small uh, blocks small blocks so when this box used to cross them or used to cross them they will send some sort of signal to us or like they will generate some voltages like 1 to 2 volts so okay now we need to okay now we need to put some what's called is the um uh, meters and some switches okay now we can take our switches switches so this is our switch switch number one so we can place it here like this and then this and then this is the third switch now we have three switches okay one more thing that when when this when this box used to cross this sensor number two it will the sensor ps2 pin will create a pulse to the drop to the drop section and we will we we, we will get our uh, material from this section that is top section with to the box so we, we just connected this ps2 with the drop okay now we will connect our forward with this pin reverse with this pin and stop with this pin okay now okay now this is the Okay, okay now we need to okay now we also need to put ground okay now this is our setup now we need to run it one more thing that our simulation used to run in milliseconds so we need to increase the speed 
maximum belt speed must be 400 okay so this is 5 okay so also we need to send okay yeah it's good since the two position is 5 okay okay now we, we will run our simulation now we will when we will press switch 1 now our box used to move when it will reach at sensor 2 the sensor 2 will generate some voltages and hopefully the material will drop from the top section to the from uh, top section to this box okay yeah you can see that material is just dropping yeah 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 it's uh, it's sending material okay now you can see that our simulation runs fine okay, okay. if we want to remove it or if you want to move it back we can press this second switch okay now we, if you want to stop it we can press this second a uh, third switch okay now now we have stopped it and sensor number two is sending the again and again the signal to the drop and material is just dropped okay so hopefully you got this concept that how you can use this conveyor belt in your simulations so thanks for visiting our channel